So what I want to talk about right now is Bayes' rule. So Bayes' rule is a super important application of conditional probability. So we can derive Bayes' rule from all the stuff we talked about in the previous couple of lectures. So the setup is the following. So uh, we have a partition of the sample space. And we observe an event A. And we want to compute what is the probability of each of these partitions now that we've seen A. Okay, so one way to think about this is that here's this picture of partitions from a previous lecture. So I see this red event A occurred. How does that change my probabilities that all these B1 through B5 occurred. So in this case, for example, seeing A immediately rules out that B1 occurred, even though B1 previously had some non-zero probability. Well, I can compute this value from what we already know. So this, by definition of conditional probability, is the probability of BI intersect A over the probability of A. And then we computed uh, from before that the probability of this intersection is this conditional probability, like so. Okay, so what does this tell us? So this is saying that I had uh, observation of event A, I want to update my probabilities of Bs. We're going to give these some names and we're going to come back to these uh, especially as we talk about machine learning stuff in later lectures, this is called the prior probability. This is like saying, what is our prior uh, probability of this event happening? Now I see A, and that changes to what we call a posterior probability. Okay. How does my uh, interpretation of the state depend on the observations that I see? And so, um, one example of this, let's kind of bring it back to a specific example. Like last time we were talking about this uh, cat pictures going over the internet, right? So you may remember this from previous lecture. This is like saying, okay, I've got certain email clients. They each have certain market share. And each of those clients, their uh, users email cat pictures with these conditional probabilities, okay? And I was able to compute using the law of total probability, the overall probability of getting a cat picture anywhere across my network was this number, 0.19. And now I want to ask kind of the reverse question of saying, what's the probability of um, Apple being the client given that I observed a cat picture, right? Well, by Bayes' rule, this is equal to the probability of cat picture given Apple times the probability of Apple over the probability of cat picture. These are all things that I computed or was given, right? So I was given that the probability of cat picture given Apple was 0 0.12, and I was given that the probability of Apple was 0.44. I computed last time that the overall probability of cat picture was 0.19, and the result is if I multiply these numbers together and divide, I get 0 0.28. So what happened is that I kind of had my prior here, and it got updated to this posterior value. So seeing the cat picture changed my underlying opinion about whether this traffic came from Apple, because Apple's users don't submit that many cat pictures, and they make an overall smaller proportion of the number of cat pictures going around, right? So to make this a little bit more uh, real-worldy, this is a little bit of a contrived example, let's talk about um, spam filtering. This is a good example of Bayes' rule. So for a long time, not so much recently, I got a lot of uh, spam that looked like it came from Russia, right? That doesn't happen so much anymore, so no offense to any Russian watchers. Um, but I had to train my spam filter to mostly classify Russian males as being spam, right? So how does this process work? So you you probably have a spam filter on your email client, and maybe in the beginning it wasn't very good, and as you started to junk emails, it started to get better and better, right? So the idea is that you know 
my spam filter learns from my dragging emails to it what is the probability of Russian mail given that it's in the spam folder, right? So I've kind of uh, given it that conditional by training it, right? It also knows the probability of spam given the overall volume of mail that I get, and it also knows the probability of Russian given all the mails that I get. So my, my mailbox knows this stuff just by monitoring things. And once it has good estimates of all this stuff, it can estimate the probability of spam given Russian as the probability of Russian given spam times the probability of spam over the probability of Russian. And if this probability is high enough, then it applies a rule to automatically move Russian mails to the spam folder, right? And we're going to do some other examples of Bayes' rule in the next video.